How are we doing, guys? It's your boy Presser here, and but this is their home. We are going to continue with bloodlines. As you remember, last episode, uh, we need to um, like his radiance uh, has started taking over. He sent his troops to basically everywhere else. Yeah. And one thing is that we're going to we're going to Einholm. Devil Crab, Devil Crab. I don't want to go get Devil Crab. So this is where we're going. Uh, I'll do I do sometimes want to go off course a little bit, but I think every couple of episodes we'll what probably do that. This place? My mother happened. The nobles who lived here didn't stand a chance. Let's hope my uncle fared better. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab this. Hopefully we can just grab it. There we go. Free bear clamshells. I love riding the truck boys. I would like to get Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth. And it looks like we're not the only ones uh, to get in. Just the fact that I, I need to complete Remake first. Uh... of slipping through unnoticed we'll need to find another way in I thought we might be able to reason with the guards or at least bribe them I suspect everyone in that crowd thought the same was that the only way in officially yes Strictly speaking, no. My uncle once told me that the nobles had tunnels built so that they could visit town without having to walk amongst the rabble. But Lazarus. I thought we would be going in there. We'll find our way into the city there. If you're sure. The entire place looked abandoned. Do you think it's safe? As long as it is abandoned. Right, black light burns. The good news is we haven't seen a single black shield since Old Hill. Maybe they found who they were looking for. So obviously we're going to go through this abandoned sort of estate. No doubt, doubt we're going to find people... Uh, that will fight for our cause in here. 100% it's not abandoned. But we will see the Lazarus district. Find an entrance to Lazarus. This is nothing like I remember it. How quickly a crown can lose its luster. Can we go through here? Nope. Okay. Obviously not. Not abandoned then. Apologies. We'll show ourselves out. That was quick. 
Uh, I I love the ignition. I absolutely love it. It's the ignition is you can just round up the enemies quite quickly and sort of take control of the battlefield a little I've bit. I've only ever seen one man fight like that, and he's long dead. Then perhaps it's time you joined him. <laughs> Blessing of the Phoenix. It can't be. I was there when you died. Huh? I thought it was him. Forgive me, my lord. I knew not whom I addressed. You have naught to fear from us. Founder, it really is you. So wait. <laughs> we can speak inside. <laughs> Love it, it just throws a fireball at his face like the blessing of the phoenix. Clive? Lord Rosnian. wouldn't bend the knee. We left before the Empire could make examples of us. Though we didn't go far. And we banded together to form the Guardians of the Flame soon after. Alas, there is only so much a handful of aging shields can do against the might of an empire. But we've seen to it that their stay has been anything but pleasant. Of late, though, we've had our hands full just trying to keep the Duchy's few remaining bearers out of the Imperial's clutches. The Cullings. We saw what happened in Old Hill. Aye. The foul work of the Black Shields and their mistress. You mean my mother, but it doesn't make sense, even knowing what I know about her. Her hatred for bearers was no secret, but she wouldn't have been ignorant of their value to the realm. No offense, my lord, but in case you haven't noticed, the Lady Annabella couldn't care less about the realm. She barely even cares for her own home. That much has been plain since the slaughter at Eastpool. And, since granting the Holy Emperor a new heir, her obsession with bearers only seems to have grown. As to why, I don't know. Maybe she can't bear the thought of anyone having the power to challenge her beloved son. Her son. So wait, the Black Shields are broken camp. They march in full force for Buick Bridge. Then so do we. Make ready. This is their main host. If we remove the head, perhaps... Perhaps we can prevent what happened at the docks from happening somewhere else. If I do nothing, then the blood of their next victims will be on my hands. Yours, and ours. We too have witnessed the crimes these men who dare call themselves shields have committed in my mother's name. It cannot be allowed to continue. We must put a stop to this madness. We must. So let us go with you. For the good of Rosaria. I was hoping you'd say that. Very well. If that is your wish, I would be honored to serve at your side. And we at yours. So, Wade, let us do our duty. With pleasure, my lord. Ooh, let's get it. 
I imagine this endeavor will require more than just our wits. So whereabouts is it? Is it all the way over there? No, that's a shop. Then let's hope Sir Wade has a good quartermaster. Speak with Wade. Tell us then, Sir Wade. What is your plan? Nothing fancy. You, Lady Jill and I make for Buett Bridge and provoke the main host at their encampment. Sensing an opportunity to end the Guardians, the Black Shields will call for reinforcements, who will be met from the rear by parties of my brothers hidden throughout the surrounding hills. This will allow us to wage battle on the bridge without fear of being overwhelmed. While the Black Shields have an advantage in numbers, you see, they prefer to fight in small units, which we can use to our advantage. How small exactly? Small enough, now that I have you and Lady Jill for company. <laughs> I doubt I could have done this on my own. But until we arrived, that was your plan. <laughs> you haven't changed a bit. So wait. The bearers from Old Hill have been laid to rest. Very good. Now make ready for battle. As you command. Thank you, Sir Wade. Perhaps now they will find peace. There is but one thing which will grant them peace. Putting an end to the Black Shields. And so we shall. Obviously. Gonna prioritize that quest. Uh, throughout the main scenario, Clive will often be joined by various companions who are keen to lead their lend their assistance. However, depending on Clive's destination, they may choose to remain behind at the hideaway. That is absolutely fine, my bro. Um, so, hopefully we can fast travel. If you hear any jingling, guys, don't How worry. It's just Nico playing action. with her toy. Since they burned their first village. We track down the bastards responsible. We should be able to fast travel. No, we can't fast and travel. That's absolutely fine. Suffice to say, that got we'll their attention. We'll get our our truck boat it's and been a we'll just cat and mouse ever since. Fly, Ambrosia. Fly, Ambrosia. We see. We fly. A little flappy, flappy of the wings. But yeah, Nico's just playing with her toy um on the bed behind me. So you'll just hear like a little jingle, jingle here. And a little oh, jingle no. jingle there. A jingle here and a jingle there. Master Don't the worry, it's not Christmas yet. There they are. On your command, my lord. On my command, we're gonna kick their ass. Let's go. Ah, oh, they're cute. Too bad they're going to die. What is it now? I told you. We bear a message for the Vicerine. From the Guardians of the Flame. Ha! You presume to tell us that a pair of filthy vagabonds, a woman and a dog, could guard aught against the might of the Black Shields? Then come! Die along with your flame! Okay, let's go. For us area! For us area! I like the way Jill doesn't speak. Your petty revolution ends here. On these our swords, we swear. Mm. Right, that's good. Cool. Ignition time. Collect them all. Black ship captain, you've got nothing on me, mate. Hell. Reinforcements from the far bank. Another one even to fight that battle for them. Okay, let's go. Too slow. Nice try. Too slow. Oh, you little bugger. Yeah. Missed, missed me, and I lose got me. That's fine. It's fine. It's fine. More dragons. Worms. The Imperials aren't taking any chance. You little bugger. I can't say I'm flattered. Let's go. Oh. 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 
Why am I going towards that? Didn't know why I was going towards that, but I was going towards that for some reason. Okay, come here. Didn't understand why I was going. <laughs> oh. A noble stand, albeit a misguided one. In taking it, you have but proven our point that this land is in dire need of cleansing. You sure about it, mate? Ignition. Staggered. Oh, I missed him. Come on, him. Let's go. Let's go. Haha. Miss me, miss me. Now you gotta kiss me. Let's go. We are. Yeah, you ain't got nothing on me, mate. I'm about to mid stagger you. Oh, you got me. Haha, uh -huh, it's me. <laughs> Rabbit. Staggered. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I like these guys because their their attacks are quite simple. You're finished. Like once you fight one and you know the guys have got a massive spear on them, you know that their attacks are, are, are very easily read. They just do the jumping attacks. I don't see any more. Nor do I. The plan worked. It did. It bloody worked. We sent every last one of the rotten bastards straight to the mud. My, uh, Lord. Perhaps this will be enough to stop the Cullings. For the time being, at least. Perhaps. Though I doubt my mother will take this loss well. She'll move swiftly to see her minions' ranks replenished. And then it will all begin again. I often wonder if the nation we once knew is gone for good. Her fields rot. Her people starve. We battle to preserve the flame that was, but for every foe we fell, another springs up in its place. Yet be that as it may, it is still our home. And we must fight for it. As we always have, and always will. For as long as the Firebird's flame burns in our hearts, the Duchy cannot die. And her loyal subjects may dream of a day when the Rosarian Standard flies over Rosalith once more. So I die. Think we should fall back to Port Isolde before the garrison sends reinforcements? A sound strategy, my lord. Quest complete. We showed them Black Knights. Well, the Black Shields, not the Black Knights, but we showed them something about Rosaria. Clive cannot be tampered with, especially when I got Ignition in my pocket. I just love that attack. It's just so easy because you can flip and get all the enemies together, five or six of them, and just chuck them somewhere. 
And how long has my uncle been funding you and your comrades' endeavors? Since the beginning. Lord Byron was the first person I turned to after forming the Guardians. And had I known of this tunnel back then, I wouldn't almost have been hanged by the city guard for trying to sneak over the wall. I suppose a formal request for an audience would have appeared suspicious. And appearances must be maintained. Were the Vice Regency to catch wind of Lord Byron's involvement in our movement, they'd seize his estate and send him to the gallows, where he would be of no use to anyone. And so, though it sickens him to the soul, he plays the part of the loyal lord, knowing that one wrong move might prove his downfall. It is why he remains ever vigilant. Don't be surprised if he refuses you an audience. Especially since you're famously dead. Then I will have to think of a way to prove that I am neither wraith nor wrongdoer. I might have something which could help with the latter. It's the Mark of the Guardians. Display it, and those who love Rosaria will know where your loyalties lie. Seal obtained. We've gotten so many seals now. I think it was about our pride. fourth one. Be sure that you do. I don't want my men attacking you again. Unless you deserve it. If only Sir Tyler could have been here to see you. Or the Lord Commander. Thank you, Sir Wade. If there is ever anything you need. I know. Go on now, my lord. When he said, oh, only like a Sir, like Sir Tyler and the Lord Commander could see you now, I, my heart sank a little bit, knowing the fact that Clive killed the Lord Commander when he turned into a freak. How accommodating. Do you really think they believe we are who we say we are? Not a chance. And here comes his uncle. Oh God, family reunion, so messy. Right, I guess my uncle believes we're imposters here to rob him. And means to string us up himself. Imagine my surprise when I was told my nephew had come to visit. Clive Rosfield died long ago. And for uttering his name here, you shall pay with your tongue. You would mock me as well. It is I, Sir Crandall of Camelot, loyal servant to Her Serene Holiness, Saint Sybil the Unshard. Meadow, thou vile sorcerer, for thy crimes against church and crown, I shall have thy head. Curse the infectious flax wench. E even in death, must thou plague me still? Very well. I shall open the gates of hell that thou might see thy charge once more. Bravo, Uncle. You're still the finest matter in the twins. Oh, 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 Clive, my dear boy, it's really you. <laughs> oh, 
you always were fond of that scene from the Saint of the Sanctuary. Never did let me play Sir Crandall. I have a favor to ask Uncle Byron. Rutherford, inform the kitchens. There'll be guests. We dine immediately. But Uncle... You can't very well regale me with the tale of your miraculous preservation on an empty stomach. Go on, sit. Uh, see that you use the good plates, Rutherford. So you arrived late to one of her cullings, did you? Since becoming Vicerine, Annabella has been a constant thorn in Rosaria's side, but these atrocities are a new low. Something has changed. Quite what? I don't know, but the woman we knew is gone, and a monster sits in her place. A monster? For better or worse, I've been charged with governing this town, and thus must maintain the illusion of obedience. That's all I can do to aid Wade and his merry band of revolutionaries. So he's told us. You have risked much for Rosaria. Our nation will be forever in your debt. It has been twenty years, Clive. The nation your father and your forefathers fought to defend is no more. Perhaps it would be otherwise had I the courage of my brother. All right, if it's a ship you require, a ship you shall have. I have a galley in port, but recently relieved of her cargo. She can be outfitted for the voyage in a matter of weeks. So you believe us, then? About everything? Believe you? Ha! Only a fool would believe even half of the things you claim. But until tonight, only a fool would have believed my nephew still lived. And besides, I have it on good authority that Clive is telling the truth. Whose authority? By your own, of course. You've always been a terrible liar. Is that true? It's not untrue. Let's say no more about it, eh? It wouldn't do to linger on my nephew's greatest failing. Well, in all fairness, is probably the best I failing. I cannot believe, though, is all this about you being Sid. You were always such a good boy. But now you're quite the outlaw. Which, if I'm not mistaken, would make me an outlaw's uncle! <laughs> right then, who shall we pillage first? Rutherford, fetch me my cutlass. This will be fun. His uncle's quite funny. I was trying not to like, I had to mute my mic so I was like constantly going, aww. Go on. She's a fine ship, isn't she? Once outfitted, she'll bear us across the boiling sea to Drustinus in the space of three days. Something on your mind? monsters when I served the Iron Kingdom I, I did so because I saw no other choice because once they learned that the lash would not move me they turned it on those who could
so I became their puppet. I let them pull my strings, telling myself it was not my hand that swung the sword, but another's. I removed myself from the truth so I wouldn't feel the pain it caused. And before I knew it, I no longer felt anything, anything at all. I had become a monster. Jill. I don't want to be a monster, Clive. Do you understand? I want to choose a different path, a better path. To live on my own terms. But before I can do that, I need to come to terms with my past. And when you do, I'll be standing there with you, just as you stood with me. Thank you, Clive. I must atone for my sins. Only then, when it's done, will the monster cease to be. Just... Promise me that you won't die with it. Now, let's get some sleep. The journey back to Benamir is long, and there is much to tell the others. Wow. We found our uncle. <laughs> He's alright, soppy guy, isn't it? The uncle. I love it. We're going back to the hideaway. That was actually... One thing I, I keep forgetting about this game is that half of it is basically... Only the founder knows what awaits us in the Iron Kingdom. But Vivian could probably make an educated guess. Um, Basically like a movie. And to be perfectly honest, in, in all fairness, I'm absolutely in love with it. Uh, we will do Here, Here Be Monsters. We will speak with Vivian. Um, but I want to see what he has in store for us. I'll be, might be just for handing event. food. Oh, this? Well, it's Valisthea, a culinary pilgrimage. I borrowed it from old tomes. Seems there's no creature in the realm so foul it can't be cooked up into something delicious. <laughs> Think I'll stick to the unfoul ones, thanks. Oh, where's your sense of adventure, Sid? Honestly, one glance at these recipes, and even you would trade in your sword for a butcher's cleaver. From spit roasts to sweetmeats, this book has them all. <sighs> what I wouldn't give to bring these recipes to life. If it's my blessing you're hoping for, then by all means. Well, I'm no hunter, Sid. The first ton of worm I came across would be the death of me. But you're made of sterner stuff. Would you help me resurrect one of these recipes? Yeah, of course. How could you, how could we Something refuse tells that? Me you won't be taking no for an answer. Fine, I'll help. Fantastic. Thank you. So, dare I ask what's on the menu? Uh, Chances stew. It was once a favourite among the gormans of Oriflam, if the author is to be believed. Though Molly's never heard of it. The only problem is that while the recipe is extremely detailed in most respects, it's infuriatingly cryptic as to the main ingredient. A beast, no doubt. Most likely something that would make easy work of a simple cook with more broth than brawn, but unwanted violets. I've no idea what they might be. Does the book say anything else? Well, only that the sweetest violets sprout atop the bed of roses. Roses. Rosaria, perhaps? 
One of the butchers in Martha's Rest might know something. I'll ask next time I'm there. Well, it looks like we're going to go there. Culinary pilgrimage. So this is the sort of stuff that I like to do is go... Um, what are you? What's that plus? Over there for? Let's see. So that's sort of the things I like to do. I like to, do, I like to see how long the video is. About 35 minutes already. I like to do like a, maybe a 40 minute, 45 minute video. Uh, with stuff like with stuff like this. Clive, oh my! Is something wrong? It's Blackford. He ain't him, and if I'm honest, he ain't been for a while. That normally it only takes a couple of drinks to perk him back up, but something's getting him down. And whatever it, it's like he's lost his spark, you know. He's barely got enough fire in his belly to get the ump about stuff. But I'm thinking he might if we both bent his ear, because he respects you, innit? Well, yeah, why not? I'm always... Now, wait, right, let's quickly go over there. Uh, Blacksmith's Blues. Won't, oh, yeah, I didn't mean to prioritise that quest, actually. Uh, so he is literally just over there. That's fine. We can do. We, we can do that. We, we, this is what I like to do. I like to do a main mission and then see how long that takes. Then I like to do a side quest just so we're sort of keeping with the flow of quests. I don't particularly like to Our miss any. What's the matter, buddy? What's got you down? First August, and now you. What you pair up to? What's it got to do with me? August was worried that something had been weighing on your mind. I thought you might want to talk about it. <laughs> Did you now? I told you not to stick your nose in my business. What'd you go and do? Clive just wants to help, innit? What's so bad about that? Talk to him. You never know, you might feel better for getting it all out in the open. Please, mate. I'm worried about you. <laughs> Phil shut you up. It's nothing really. Stupid. Not the sort of thing you bother people about. Why don't you tell us all the same? Karen and I have an arrangement. I keep an eye on Goots and she shows me what the competition's up to. Interesting arms and armor, things like that. Anyway, the other day she shows me a cuirass she's come by masterpiece of level work light supple and tougher than it had any right to be <sighs> made my stuff look like every clumsy shit i should have brought the bastard thing there and then just to study it but i was too proud and now every time i reach for my hammer i'm reminded that i'm not the craftsman i thought i was there you happy you got what you came for now piss off. All right, we're going. I think it's it. We get the thing that he wants, and then he can study it and help better his work. I always thought of old Blackthorn as a bit of a force of nature, like a storm cloud full of ale. <laughs> Didn't think anything could rattle him. Least of all a stupid piece of leather. Blackthorn's always taken pride in his craft. Questioning it means questioning himself. Something tells me this is only going to get worse. If he has doubts, it will affect his work, which will only add to his problems. We need to nip this in the bud. I couldn't agree more. He said he should have bought that cuirass. Perhaps we should track it down for him. Assuming you're happy to help, that is. Too bloody right I am. Glad to hear it. First things first, then. We need to speak to Karen. Right, we'll speak to Karen and see what that's up to. And see Karen. where we can go get yeah, the moment. Kieras. Blackthorn. Right. I didn't mean Thank to do you, that. Karen. My hand started going. We belong. <laughs> Oops. So, it sounds like going after that griffin might be the best chance we have of finding our roaming leather worker. I'll leave the hunt into you if you don't mind. While you get on with that, I'll ask around the markets. Good idea. So we're gonna go after Griffin now. Who Karen? There's this one. Use the humble to locate a Griffin. 
is time about 40 minutes. Uh, yeah, I believe we've got time depending. Should be able to smash this one out. Typical nobles. Five, there you are, Kapu. I've been looking all over the you. Nectar? The matter is this. The hunt board. It's where the curse breakers post sightings of particularly fearsome beasts. Those that might pose a threat to our operations if they were left to roam free. Just because they can't be dealt with when they're spotted, doesn't mean they can't be dealt with later. Was that what you wanted to know? Of course not. I heard knew that already. And that's why I need your help, as I'm not... As I need not remind you, Kapu. Blah, blah, blah. So, I need you to slay them all. Right. The people of Valisthea are going through a lot already. The last thing they need is ungodly fiends terrorizing them on top of everything else. So if the curse breakers are too busy to help, then perhaps I can. Oh, thank you. It's so good to have someone who understands me. Kapoo! I'll stay here and keep an eye on all the billets that get posted on the board, so if there's anything you need to know, Kapoo, I'm yours. Right, ask about Griffin sightings. Did I hear you say you're hoping to have a Griffin Kapoo? Then a uh, billet for you, Kapoo. A especially horrible one, the locals called Dosmer. Ports, uh, so yeah, hunt board. Angel of Death, Dosmer. Uh, Kernova Westgate in Sambrek. So, Sambrek. Let's have a look. Well, this was Sambrek. Uh, Martha's Rest, no. Right, so still talk to talk to him then. Yeah, Dosmer. One person on uh, the lost thing occurring over one of the blah, blah, blah. location. Kernovan West Gate in Sam Breck. Oh, tried that. No, I can't find it. That's Martha's Rest. East Pool. Damn, I can't even remember where Sandbrook is now. North Reach. Dragon's Avery. Northern Crossing. Care Northern. Uh, was it the the West Gate? Lost Wing. I swear it was here. Care Northern. That sounds. <coughs> Right, I'm not really good with stuff like this. Yeah, Care Northern Westgate. So I was right. Care Northern Glorious Gate, but then we could just head west and kill the Griffin and then come back. Boom, 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 boom. Right. So let's. Holy Eye, North Reach, East Watch, Dragon Avery. Where the hell is the West Gate? It's Lost Wing, Kennel of River Gate, Set of Past, Lerit's Knot, Clairview, Southern March, Dragon's Avery, Warfield. I think it is around here. No, that's an arachne. There's Jill. Dragonite, arachne. I'm trying to find this griffin. Yeah, leave me alone. Griffin should be round here. It said West Gate, but I didn't see no West Gate. More arachnids. And I'm stuck. There we go. No. No. Oh, where the 
hell? Could they be? Nope. Straight home now. Huh. Yeah. Wait, what's that? Inaccessible more broom. Hurry the eye, that's North Reach, East Watch, the Dragon's Avery. Corporate Downs, Lost Wing, Noob. Okay, so one thing is well, I'm being a bit of a nipple. So, obviously, I'm just being slow. So, this is going to be it for this episode, guys, because we're reaching our time limit. Well, the time limit I like to set. So, if you like what you see, guys, we're going to continue. I'm going to do off camera, uh, find where the griffin is. Um, and then uh, probably do the pilgrimage as well. Uh, and then next episode will be Here Be Monsters. So if you like what you see, hit that like, hit that subscribe, and I hope to see you guys on the next one. See ya.